Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over the SEO Power Suite Link Assistant tool. Here what we can do is simply enter in a website that we want to improve so that we can find more backlink opportunities and I'm just going to run you through some of the features and perks that come along with this. If you'd like to follow along I will leave my link down below in the description and if you click that you can actually get a free access to this and they have a lot of great free uh, features and perks so I'd highly recommend you check that out. Let's begin. So for this, I'm going to be using one of my websites, I'm knights.com. After we enter this in, it says it will help you find backlink opportunities for the website based on its topic and SEO competitors. What we want to do is click on the create and give it some time. After that, I'm going to come back to you, you know, once it's done. So I will see you in a few seconds, but normally it'll take maybe 30 seconds, maybe a little bit less or more, but let's continue. And so immediately after we add it in, we give it a few, you know, moments to load up. What it's going to do is give us a very long list of prospects that we can utilize to kind of go in, see how good they look, see what their domain authority might be, if we maybe want to get a link there. And this is just an example of one right here. But what you can do is actually sort is something I like. So you can do new to old, old to new. I like new to old. That means they're fresh. You know, they're they're discovered recently or used recently. You can change it however you want. Maybe you want to do domain traffic, but new to old is going to be a good idea. And as you can do, you can scroll through and kind of click on some of these. Some you can just look at the actual, you know, domain itself and be like, I probably wouldn't want to get a link from there. You can actually scroll down and see it like this is just kind of gibberish, right? Don't want something there. Scrolling down a little bit more. Something also very cool that you'll notice if you see the at sign here, that means they're going to have their actual contact information. So you don't need to go too far to find that up there. Just so continuing on. So anyway, so you don't need to go too far to find their contact email. That's something I really like. Obviously, you can go through there. This just looks like kind of spamish. So we wouldn't want something there. Entrepreneurship in a box. I think I had this one up for. Uh, so if we read more and go to the actual website right here, you can see this looks like a, a solid post, like a guest post without actually showing guest posts or so something like that could look solid. If we wanted to, what we can do is right click on this and we could do move to prospects. So one prospect right there. There's going to be a prospects list here, which is cool. This is where it's going to be where we can obviously reach out to them. If they don't have their prospect email here, that's completely fine. Obviously, you can go to their page. Usually, it's going to be like a contact us. You can search for it that way. But mostly, right off the bat, you can do just about everything in here, which is cool. So you can just you know maybe get their contact information, go to your Gmail or your business email and send it from there, or you can do it from here. Let me go to the email. I'm not going to go through all the steps, but give you an idea how you can do that. Once you're in the email settings, what you can do is go to the actual settings right here. And if you just follow these steps here, you can actually integrate so that you can send emails from SEO Power Suite if you want to do it that way. Okay. Going back over here when it comes to prospects. Another cool thing when it comes to actually keeping it within the software, if you want to utilize, is that you can go in and get your backlink, verify, and even add in your anchor text. So for example, allow me to show you how to do that as well. Once we are in the prospect section, which we are, we're going to click on the preferences button at the top. Of course, we want prospect management and of course, anchor settings. What we can do here is just add a new one. So let's click on add. Let's say I'm going to be getting like a brand link. You know, let's just say like I'm Knights, something like that. You know, if I get a different one in the future, I can just simply add it in and then let's click on OK there. And what we can do is do change anchor text. So we have this one here, of course. What you would do is as you add more, you can add to them, add them in. You can find them. You can click on it and just do OK. So let's say that was going to be the anchor text that we had gotten. We were just looking for some more juice to the uh, main homepage. What we can do after that is we can go here. Now what we can do, we can just double click on where we would have gotten that backlink. And if we go to backlink right here, you're going to see we added this in. And this is the cool thing. Obviously, I didn't get a backlink here. What you would do is you can actually verify it like this. So if you click on the verify, it says, sorry, it didn't manage to find it. Of course, it's not going to find it because I didn't get it. But that's just another cool way to kind of connect what you have here what the assigned link page is going to be, the assigned anchor text. And of course, once all that is done, you can verify it within here. And that's pretty much how you can build up your prospect list when it comes to finding backlinks, who you work with, sending them emails. And a lot of this can be done in the software if you want to utilize it that way. Or of course, maybe if you just want to get their email, send it in Gmail or out of your own email sender, that's going to be up to you. But all in all, that's a very quick overview of some of the things that it can do. 
And of course, we can talk about searching for prospects. What I'm going to do is just do a separate video where I can show you how to find some guest posts, because as you can see, that's going to be one of the big things here. You can do guest posting, you can search for reviews, you can do top ranking pages, similar websites, backlink gap, competitors, new backlinks, and of course, expert mode, where you can create your own custom search query. So there's a lot going on in this one specific tool here. And that's what I like about SEO Power Suite. They have their four main software tools. And within each of those, there's a lot to kind of unpack. So that's a quick overview when it comes to the SEO Power Suite link assistant. In my next video, I'll be going over how you can find some guest posts. Pretty simple to do along the same lines of, you know, finding backlinks in general. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out SEO Power Suite, once again, they do come with free access. That link will be down below and I'll see you in my next video.